Wystawa Pauline Botti Popart to pierwsza wystawa w Polsce, w gruncie rzeczy pierwsza wystawa na kontynencie tej artystki. W kolekcji Muzeum Sztuki znajduje się jedyny w Polsce obraz Pauline Botti, przekazany nam przez Galerię Grabowskiego w latach 70. Natomiast Galeria Wolverhampton posiada od kilku lat bardzo obfite zbiory popartu i w tym bogate zbiory twórczości Pauline Botti właśnie i współkuratorka wystawy Sue Tate no, od kilku lat zajmuje się badaniem twórczości Botti przede wszystkim. My research started in 1991, when there was a huge exhibition of pop art at the Royal Academy in London and out of 202 pop works, only one was by a woman. And a lot of people said, well, pop is inevitably masculine. That's the nature of pop. And I started thinking, well, women enjoy popular culture experiences, fashion, film, uh, music, pop music, dancing. Why is it that there are no women in the movement commenting on a woman's experience, which will be different from a man's? Wydało nam się bardzo interesujące uh, wspólne podjęcie pracy nad uh, wystawą brytyjskiego popartu ze szczególnym uwzględnieniem Pauline Botti albo odwrotnie, wystawy Pauline Botti z uwzględnieniem kontekstu e, brytyjskiego popartu. Także ta wystawa e, miała pierwotnie miejsce właśnie w Wolverhampton Art Gallery w 2013 roku. W poszerzonej o kontekst brytyjskiego popartu wersji pojawiła się w Muzeum Sztuki w Łodzi. My jesteśmy jedynym miejscem po Wielkiej Brytanii, które pokazuje w takim dużym wymiarze Pauline Botti, która była zapomniana, żyła krótko, jak wiemy, zmarła w 1966. She was a fantastic character. Everyone remembers her very vividly. Um, she was very upfront, very gorgeous to look at, enjoyed the pleasures of mass culture, but she was also very intellectual, very widely read. She knew her French avant-garde literature very well. Uh, Marcel Proust, she actually read, her friend said, you know, one of the few people that actually read the books. Um, and so I find her really interesting as an artist to introduce this other voice back into British pop and pop in general. Postać Pauline Botti od wielu lat była praktycznie szerzej nieobecna w świecie sztuki w tym obiegu instytucjonalnym. The authors didn't want to write about the women who inevitably were more closely associated with pop, with mass culture. And uh, she is very involved. Her paintings are about that female experience. And so they didn't fit the pop story. And at the same time, the feminist art history that got going in the 70s strategically needed to get distance on mass culture, which was trivializing women, and wanted to just subvert and critique it. And here was an artist talking about the pleasures of mass culture. So feminist art history couldn't really cope either. But now, since the mid-90s, we're in a postmodern discourse the high-low culture aren't kept separate anymore. It's okay for high and low culture to crush together. Um, and feminism is in a different place now, more confident, more established. And it's possible now to look at difficulty and ambiguity, not just critique mass culture. 